We just left the casino and we are off to the key largo well first we're going to walmart and stock up on food because we need to get some food and then we're not overnighting there we're just going straight to key Bis um what's it called key Biscay La national yeah, park Biscay i think national it is it's park. north of key largo There's my camper. See, if I had the trailer, I wouldn't want to be able to pull up to places like this. It'd be very difficult because there's no parking here on the road for a big giant camper like that. So this is why we can buy fresh stuff now. We're getting what up on now. That's what the sugar cane looks like before I squeeze the juice. Here comes the guarapos. Oh, yummy. Guarapo? Guarapo, yeah. For the first time. Wait, a ver. Right there. No, it's very good. So you like it? What are you drinking? Guarapo. Guarapo. Almost, almost has a, a taste like grape juice. The aftertaste is almost like uh, when you squeeze fresh grapes. And they're very sweet, oh, and you and you and you, sure? and you drink that. It's very good. Uh, I've never had this Waterline. before. No. No. to Biscayne National Park in Southwest Miami and you can see that they have this, all this space here for RV parking but this is RV parking but somebody's parked here so I parked here and most most of the cars have like these cars here they have taken up the RV parking so you have to get here early in the morning because you're just not gonna find it I mean the cars pull up here and they get blocked in I mean this guy's basically blocked in there and then there's a couple of RVs that are parked over there chilly out here today because it's over by the water um, so I went back to the RV and I got my sweater and we're going off to the visitor center and Starbucks so we can spend a couple hours. Um, Louis wants to upload and I just want to take a break for a while today. And it looks like we're going to be parked here at this Cracker Barrel. RVs and bus parking right there. RV bus. It's a safe 
the DRV parking. So the Starbucks. I could park. I could park there. Yeah, you don't want to take an RV spot for your. Yeah, I, could, I could park there. Park over there. And then we can work to. Um, Starbucks. Starbucks. We are now parked at the RV bus spot here at the uh, Cracker Barrel. So Lewis is over there. He's gonna park in a regular spot because why should he take up an RV spot? There's an RV over there. And that's US 1. This, this is the highway that goes right to the Keys. And goes south is that way. So the Ramada isn't across the street. I gotta stop eating out because it's so expensive. But Lewis is really generous, so that's nice. Um, yeah. So this is nice. I'm going to hang out here. He's going to go to Starbucks for a while, but I just have to edit. So I'm just going to sit here and chill in my camper because I'm tired. Oh, we got to put on the refrigerator. Propane. Can you go do that for me? I wish it would just switch off automatically too. Okay, here we go. I got to shut it off. It's... I mean, it's not a problem doing it. It just gets time after a while. Because especially if you're like us, you go from one place to the next to the next. And then you're going to be there like half an hour, 30, you know, 30 minutes to an hour. you got to turn on the propane. If I had solar, maybe on a really sunny day, I can probably get away with it. But Okay, so I'll turn it back on. And it should say LP gas. Yep, I think it's switched on. Hey guys, if you enjoy my videos, please give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.